official introduction. The following fight is the amateur bout of MLE held in the lightweight division. Four to the three three minute rounds and is sponsored by Cat Communications. Committee to the first in the blue corner. This fighter is 28 years of age. He weighed in at 70.3 kilograms. He hails from Nottingham and fights at the fourth dimension MMA with a record of three wins for loss. In the blue corner, Wade Super Saiyan Gale! And across the page, the red corner. This is Spider. He is 31 years of age. He is in the second one, five kilograms. He hails from Snowball and fights at the Gorilla Fighting. With a record of seven wins, five losses, one goal. In the red corner, Tommy Wilde! For the action game, this is your offering in charge of Mr. Vic, the Levitz. Bout number 15 here at Casey Contenders 2. Tommy Coyle versus Quig Gale. Lightweight matchup, amateur, uh, amateur rules. Three rounds, three minutes long. And this fight sponsored by Cat Communication. And that's a fierce stare there from Gale to start the round and a big right hand clips the chin early. Exchange some kicks, nice catch and a trip, but Quaid wants this on the feet. Slaps in a hard right low kick there, and Coyle tries to return fire, just misses the mark. Matt, if Gale can be effective as a fighter, he has the X factor. Double block, block. Ah. Yes, he's got the underhook though, as Gale might be able to turn him there. But Coyle, you know, this is his kind of grinding, relentless forward pressure game. Yeah, and Gale made a tactical error. If you're going to pull a body lock, you have to throw the guy over freestyle style. Better to create post and separation. And right now he's not doing that, and he's getting crushed against the cage. But if he can rotate down, but see how he's holding the head. Again, another tactical error. Much better to post down on the head. You want separation as the bottom guy. You don't want to create tightness. And again, holding that wizard. It's going to be much harder for him to rotate his hips down to be able to get up off the cage. And right now, Coyle in a great position to be able to conserve energy, score points for the judges, and possibly create good opportunities to get a finish. Yeah, strong underhook, strong head position, keeping his man pinned down there. And you can see Gale tries to push off the fence, but Coyle quickly recollects him, gets him back, uh, his back flat on the mat. And this yes. is just classic Coyle. Yeah, now he has an outside post. He has left leg that's driving all the pressure. He doesn't have to worry about being swept. There's a cage there to help keep his balance. And now you see again, Gale grabbing over the top. This isn't helping his cause. It's burning his arms out. At best, possibly the referee starts him up. But look, these are short rounds. It's not going to happen. He needs to use more structure, more form. Pulling the head down is going to save him from taking big shots. But it's only going to slowly stop the leaking. He's not actually increasing his chances of getting out. Yeah, and uh, he's got a butterfly hook there, not being particularly active with it. Tommy's just sitting on it, keeping his hips low. They, as I say, they're a little elevation, but recalibrates, gets his weight back down. I, I, I don't even think the way he used the butterfly hook that he has an understanding of what he actually had. And Tommy just oh. staying on him like a rash trick. Gale tries to push away. There might be a, there was a window of opportunity there, and he's just taken too long to try and uh, try and capitalise oh. it. Rolled him to the top. Great job on just using energy to push over the top to get the sweep. And now let's see if Tom, if uh, Tommy Coyle has a little bit better understanding of what to do against the stage. <laughs> he called him on it a couple of big hammer fists, but that might be um, you know. Too little too late in that round because 10 second clapper went just as Gale made it to top position. Strong opener for Tommy Coyle, but Quaid Gale late on showing us that he's very much still in this. Yeah, and we, you know, he talked about tactical errors there, Frank has, you know, the dying seconds of that round, Tommy called Quaid Gale on. <laughs> Hit a couple of amethysts straight on the chin. Fortunately, not long left in the round, and uh, Tommy is renowned for having a good chin. 
Yeah, there was just a slight mistake there by Coyle at the very end, but not enough, I think, to give him uh, for him to lose the round. The fact he was on top, got the takedown. Uh, I have to say that that round was easily scored for me for Coyle. It, but Gale did have some opportunities there. But you see how he pushed the hips and swept over the top. That was a lot of power, and those techniques work early on. That's why it's better to use highly effective, efficient techniques and power. But when you use a less efficient and you make it work by horsepower, I tell people, hey man, that's great. But what happens in the second round? What happens in the third round? You're gonna become less powerful unless those techniques aren't gonna work as well. Absolutely, and uh, Cole's the kind of guy who will keep driving forward, and there he goes, in for a double and gets it again. Yeah. That was actually pretty good of a uh, uh, Gale to hold on to that front headlock guillotine. But Charges in, but Coyle relentless. Yeah, and Coyle, those are more efficient techniques. Level change, wrap the hands below the butt, get the takedown, and now here he's on top, moving against the cage. And again, the techniques that Gale is using are explosive. He's a good athlete, and he has some of the right ideas, but you can see that his training here is not as efficient as some of the other areas of his game. Yeah, and Coyle just uh, digging his head into the body, getting down, not allowing Gale to create any space, making it hard. When you get your head in the body, it makes it hard for your opponent to try and push off as well. And those are burning out his biceps right now. See how uh, Gale is just hugging the head, holding down, trying to you know smother the punches of Coyle from the top, but he's still going to work, and that's very traditional body-body head. He's working the ribs, he's working up top. That's very efficient ground and pound. And no reason to pass the guards. Stay between the legs. Force your opponent on bottom to do something to get up. I love it. A little word with the referee there. Much, he talked to him twice. I didn't quite catch what it was, but you see that Bridge trying to yeah, throw the legs up. Little cut on top of the right side of Coyle's head. Maybe that was from the stand-up exchanges. But it's just grinding on top. Staying busy, chopping away with short punches. Just popping the gum shield back in there. And he's got his knee in front of the shoulder, but really needs to be getting his knee across, turning his hips and trying to get onto his side to create some space. You're 100% right. Frames to create space to create distance so that he can work his way back up. Speaking of Quaid Gale, to get back up to his feet. It's hard, almost near impossible, to win a fight with your head jammed against the cage as the bottom guy. Yeah, as you mentioned in an early fight, with the guard closed, you know, not allowing himself the opportunities to move his hips, create angles and create distance, well, uh, effectively holding Tommy into him. Absolutely, you're actually taking away one of your most valuable weapons is your feet on the mat so you can slide your hips against the cage and get your head up. By you locking your guard with your head against the cage, your feet are off the ground. And now there's nothing keeping your opponent from pressuring into you, and your head's against the cage, so it doesn't even like you slide across the mat. Lucky. Threw up a, oh, I, you don't see that sweep too often. I don't even know what they call it these days, it's that rare. It's just uh, a double ankle sweep. I call it the sucker sweep. Yeah, for <laughs> good reason. Because you feel like a sucker and you get <laughs> caught in it. <laughs> yeah, and again, you know, a little show of something there from, uh, from Gail, you know, right at the death, but that round was all uh, coil on top. You know, and staying busy enough on top, chipping over the shots, body head, not trying too hard to advance his position because he hasn't needed to. You know, this um, Gail there has not really been forcing the issue, trying to trying to force the scramble. No, absolutely. And if I was in Tommy Coyle's corner, I'd be like, hey, rinse and repeat, meaning do the same exact things. Uh, a little correction. Hey, when you stand up, don't bring your feet so close to him. Tripod more. Have your feet away, bring your hips in. Don't bring your feet in so they get grabbed and you get caught with that real easy push sweep. So round three, Gale in his corner, looking to go Super Saiyan once again. And he's gonna need it in round three because he's gonna need a very big round or most likely a stoppage to take anything from this one, it looks like. Hard low kicks there. Nice overcut. Coyle slaps a kick in. Good support here for Coyle. 
That was a nice post and a reverse on the outside hook. Yeah, took advantage wow. of the slip with a right hand, closes the distance. And he reached over the head again. That's just not good tactics in that position. It's a cross face or a post. It's, it's separation techniques at that moment when your back's against the cage. If you want to hang on the head, you better be one hell of a practitioner in that choke because if you miss it, you're not going to be happy. And that's exactly what's happening right here. He missed that choke, and now he's in the worst position he's been in the whole fight, mounted against the cage. Yeah, right hands and hammer fist coming in from Tommy Coyle. Quaid just trying to get Berry's head into the stomach just to stem the flow of shots. Tommy shoving the head away. Big punches coming in. Controlling the head with his opposite hand. Big strikes and the referee stopped it. TKO win for Tommy Coyle. And you have to say that's, you know, just the amalgamation of all of his hard work throughout the first two rounds to pick up that stoppage in the third. Yeah, a great stoppage. It wasn't like it's going to be controversial. It wasn't that he was behind on the scorecards. I think we both had it easily, him winning the first two rounds. And at that moment, you see Gale just being relentless. The guy has heart. He was trying to find a way out. He just didn't have the tools to get there. And you've seen that the proper tools was with Tommy Coyle. Great mount after that guillotine, held it, beat him down. Just those 13 fights, it shows what he's developed experience-wise and technique-wise. Yeah, great win there for Tommy.